Hi everybody, welcome to another video of English grammar. Here we are going to discuss active voice and passive voice, which is a relevant topic for both plus one and plus two and later on. Okay, so let's see what are the rules you have to uh, take care of when you convert a sentence from active voice into passive voice. Actually, what is active voice and what is passive voice? We have to know that, right? What is active voice? When the doer of the action is given more uh, prominence, that sentence is said to be active voice. The doer, the one who performs the action, is given more prominence, importance in the sentence, then it is said to be in active voice. At the same time, the action is given more importance and the doer or the performer doesn't have the importance, then it is said to be passive voice. Okay, then how will we convert a sentence from uh, active voice into passive voice? Okay, uh, at first, identify the subject, the verb, and the object. So when we get a sentence, we have to identify which is the subject, and which is the verb, and which is the object, SVO. Okay, then change the object into subject. Then pick the object and bring it here to the front. Change it, uh, pick the object and make it subject. Change the object into subject. Okay, make the object. Uh, when we uh, explain using uh, examples you will be able to understand it more okay put the suitable helping verb or auxiliary verb so after the uh, taking the object to into the position of the subject you have to add suitable helping verb okay suitable helping verb or auxiliary verb in case in case helping verb is given use the same so if already there are helping verb in the sentence you can use the same uh, helping verb but not that the helping verb given agrees with the object but one thing it should agree with the object. We have taken the object to the front, to the position of the subject, and in number, they should, they should agree. So if it is plural here, and the, uh, the auxiliary verb should be in plural form. Okay, if it is singular, then the auxiliary verb should be in singular form. Okay, change the verb into past participle of the verb. Then after, uh, now we have taken this object into the position of subject, then added the auxiliary, then we have to uh, make change the given verb into the past participle form, v form of the verb. Okay, then and add the preposition by, change this uh, subject into object. So, right, by, then we have to take the subject there at the position of object, then by the object. So, we will understand when we discuss these examples. Okay, so before we go to examples, um, let's see, the passive voice is used in English for what purpose? What is the purpose of using passive voice? Okay, to stress the action done rather than the doer of the action. We use passive voice to stress the action, uh, to give stress prominence to the action rather than the doer of the action. We do not mind who do the action, but the action is of importance, right? If the doer is unknown, Sometimes we do not know who did it. Something happened and we, did, we do not know who did it. Then we use it in passive voice. When it is more convenient, sometimes it is more convenient to uh, omit the doer, right? So in such cases, we use passive voice. Okay, we will uh, learn how to convert. Okay, active voice. When using the active voice, the subjects are the one performing the action. As in the beginning, I said, in active voice, subject has more importance, right? So subject, Subjects are the ones performing the action. God loves all men. God loves all men. So you all know that God is the subject. We uh, loves is the verb and all men, object. Birds build nest. Birds, subject, build, verb, nest, object. Dog eats bones. Dog eats bones. Dog, subject, eats verb and bones, object. In these three sentences, the subject does the action Hence, they are in the active voice. So here, we all know that the actions mentioned here, loves, build, eat, or done by the subject here, right? Love, loving, the action of loving is done by God. So the doer is given prominence, so it is in active voice. And in other words, you can say, the sentence starts with the doer of the action. When a sentence starts with the doer of the action, that sentence is said to be in active voice. Okay. And what happens in the passive voice? In the passive voice, the verb takes an object. Passive voice, the person who do the, the who does the action, the, the doer of the action is not given that importance. Instead, the verb, the action is given more important. All men are loved by God. All men are loved by, loved by God. So in other words, we can say 
the sentence is not begun with the doer of the action. That can be done easily, right? The sentence is not beginning with the doer of the action. Here, what is the action? Love. Loving is the action, right? And who does the action of loving? God does. God does. So, God is the doer of the action. And do we start the sentence with God here? No. So, it is not an active voice. It is passive. So, all men is the object. We, we remember the sentence before, the sentence that we learned before. God loves all men. God loves all men. So, we took the object here, all men. Right. The subject. We took the subject here. All men is all men was the object in the um, the same sentence can be written here. God loves all men. So all men is the object. We took it here, right? Then and uh, we have to add an auxiliary here, right? So after taking the object here, we have to add an auxiliary. So before adding auxiliary, you have to confirm to which tense this sentence belongs. Right, which, which, which tense is it? So, love is present tense, so the auxiliary should be in the same tense and it should be as per the number of the selected objects. So, man is plural and a plural and present uh, auxiliary is are. You can't add is here because it is plural. You, can, you can't add am here because it is not I here. You can't add where here because the tense is present tense. It, sh it should be in the same tense. So, all men are. Then the past participle form of the verb, past participle form of the verb love, it is loved. Then add by, then take the subject into the position of object by God. Right, that's how. We all know that, this, just to remind you, uh, just to refresh your memory, I tell this. Okay, um, birds build, birds build nests. Birds build nests. So, nest nests are the object we took it here so as per uh, the plural and present form of the verb present tense we used r as the auxiliary here and b3 form or um, past participle form of the verb build is built and by verbs bones are eaten by dog the same way bones object took here are the auxiliary v3 form or past participle form of eat and by dog these sentences are in passive voice. Okay. Then changes of change of pronoun, right? So, if we start a sentence with I, um, when we convert it into passive voice, it, it ends with by me. For example, I love ice cream. I like ice cream. I like ice cream. Ice cream is liked by me. Right. Like that. So, V becomes us by us. You, if you start the sentence with you, you itself, right? You, you, you completed the work. The work was completed by you, right? He becomes him, she becomes her, it becomes it itself, and uh, there is no change, and they becomes them. Okay, these are the changes in pronoun. And what are the changes in declarative sentences? Declarative sentence means a statement. Okay, I write a letter. I write a letter. So you remember the uh, method how to convert a sentence from active voice into passive voice. Listen, I write a letter. I is the subject, write is the verb, and a letter is the object. You all know that, right? So at first, you, we take the object to the beginning, a letter. Then we add an auxiliary, right? An auxiliary. So when we select the auxiliary, I told you we have to uh, take, uh, we have to remember two things in our mind. What tense is the sentence? Uh, sentence and what number is here, right? So I write a letter is a present tense, so the auxiliary should be in present form. And a letter is a singular, so here it is to be present singular. Okay, a letter is then the V3 form of right written by and the object I becomes me, as we said in the slide before. Okay, we must keep the rule. We must keep the rule. Then B is the subject, must keep. The verb, the rule is the object. Then the rule must, already we have the auxiliary here, right? So the rule we took here and must, the auxiliary already we have here, then we took it here and B is to be added and B3 form of keep kept by us. The rules must be kept by us. You bought a book. A book, a book was bought by you.
you bought a book a book a book was bought by you is the correct form if it is you have you have bought a book then a book have been sorry a book has been is the correct form so it's uh, wrongly typed uh, a book has been brought by you okay if as it is a book it can be has if, if there are books books have been bought by you he closed the window the window was closed by him she was writing letters letters so look let she was writing letters letters as it is plural when we take this auxiliary here it becomes there right so as for the number of the object we have to make changes here and the tense remains same okay letters were as it is ing form verb with ing form you, you have to add being and be written okay letters were being written by her understood the children are playing cricket if it is the sentence the children are playing cricket then cricket is being played is being played cricket as it is singular we use is okay cricket is being played as it was used ing form in the active voice we have to use being here okay being played by the children i had posted a letter a letter had been posted by me notice this one is increased uh, after had we have to add been also in uh, passive voice i do not drink tea tea is not drunk by me okay that's it okay then uh, what change takes place in imperative sentence imperative sentence uh, you already know that imperative sentence is an order or suggestion right or command like open the door uh, close the window switch on the um, fan like this okay help me help me is an imperative sentence an imperative sentence can be identified because it starts with a verb like help open sing or something like a don't is also a verb right so uh, like this when a sentence is started with a verb it can be said to be imperative sentence so if the given sentence in the active voice is in the imperative to get the passive voice use let hence passive voice is let plus object plus b plus past participle that's how we have to convert so help me let me be helped that's it understood help me is the imperative sentence here so add let let then bring the object here what is the object here me is the object let me after that add be then past parts the form of the given verb help let me be helped open the door let the door be opened don't eat this fruit let not this fruit be eaten let not this fruit be eaten sing a song as let a song be sung okay that's how interrogative sentence questions okay how will we convert a question if the question in the active voice begins with a helping verb the passive voice must also begin with a suitable helping verb supposing the question begins with wh or how for what when how etc the passive voice must begin with the same okay let's see a few examples are you writing a letter are you writing a letter how will you convert this you have to make the auxiliary remain in its place and uh, you can change it as per the object understood as i always say as i always said r a e e letter a letter is the object here so we will have to bring it here so as per the number of the object you have to change the verb here okay so is a letter so and as it is ing form we have to add being to okay is a letter being written by you is a letter being written by you so you notice uh, auxiliary should be there and it can be it can change as per the object okay the number it, it should agree with the object so is a letter being why being here because here there is ing okay is a letter being written by you is she beating the child how will we con convert uh, the child is singular so is can remain same okay is the child being beaten by her being beaten by her is the child being beaten by her there is a 
small mistake. There should be being. Okay. Is the child being beaten by her? Will you accept the position? Will you accept the position? So, you is the subject, accept is the verb, position is the object. Right. Then how will the position will be taken here? Will the position be accepted by you? Be accepted by you. Will the position be accepted by you? Who broke the window? Who remains? Um, by whom? By whom the window was broken? Because who is the uh, subject here, right? Broke is the verb. The window is the object. And when you take it here, uh, there should be the subject should be uh, the presided. A subject uh, subject should be following by, right? So by whom, by whom the window was broken? Why was why it is not is, because broke is past form, right? It is not break. It is broke. So it is past tense. So we have to use was, and a window. Window is singular, right? So that's why was past and singular. Why did you write such a letter? So when how will you convert? Um, you is the subject, right is the verb, such a letter is the object, right. So the question word should remain. So as it is past form, you can write why was, why was such a letter written by you? Why was such a letter written by you is the um, answer here, okay. Then if a sentence contains two objects, namely indirect object and direct object, the active voice, two forms of passive voice can be formed. So in the active voice, there are two, there are, in the active voice, there are two objects, indirect object and direct objects, you already know, right? So there, there can be two forms of passive voice. She brought me a cup of coffee, two objects, right? She brought a cup of me in their object, direct object, cup of coffee, right? Okay, then there are two objects anyway. So when you convert, in first case, you can take me as the object. So me, when you take the object here, me becomes I, right? At the same way, the subject when we take here, it becomes me, right? And the same way, the, when the object you take it here, it becomes I. I was brought a cup of coffee by her. I was brought, so sub, the object, Took, was taken here and was auxiliary v3 form and the other object here by the subject okay otherwise a cup of coffee a cup of coffee was brought to me by her understood the other one the teacher teaches us grammar two objects teacher subject teach verb as object grammar object then as becomes we we are taught grammar by the teacher we are taught grammar by the teacher otherwise grammar grammar was no grammar is this teacher teaches no grammar is taught to us by the teacher that's how the two of uh, possible past voices are there for sentences having two objects okay then activity passivization it is in a uh, plus one textbook you can see such an activity study the following sentences carefully uh, soon the sick man had been taken off to the hospital mattresses and sheets were then brought up and the two patients were comfortably installed do these sentences tell you anything about the dual of the action listen here uh, two sentences we see two we see some sentences here Soon, this, never mind, okay, it was a typing mistake. Soon the sick man had been taken off to the hospital. So, is any door of the action mentioned here? Of course not. The sick man are the object taken here, right? Had been the auxiliary verb taken, the past participle form of the verb take, taken off to the hospital. So, the door of the action has not been mentioned here. Mattresses and sheets object were then brought. Up and the two patients were comfortably installed right so in these two sentences we do not see a door of the action okay so these sentences are called passive voices so there is important uh, how to um, 
um, how to convert a sentence from active voice into passive voice it helps you in uh, public examination in both plus one and plus two and after two it will be very useful for you when if you try for PSC examination and other competitive examination direct speech and direct speech active voice passive voice and other grammar part will be of immense importance okay so study carefully and complete the following passage. Uh, this one is from plus two textbook, right? So it is remarkable how rapidly the country is developing. Progress made everywhere. So progress singular, so is. Progress is, progress is an V3 form of the make, of make, made. Progress is made everywhere in the town. Old houses are, are pulled down, are pulled down, V3 form of Pulled pull down, then and uh, five new blocks of flats, flats, then plural, right? What can be the possible auxiliary or put down in that way? So, like this, you can complete the remaining part, okay? And um, image immigration schemes, immigration schemes uh, have, have been introduced or are introduced. So, uh, the uh, suitable auxiliary and the V3 form of the given um, verb you have to add and complete the activity. It is an activity from your textbook. Okay, then one sees this sort of advertisement everywhere, change into passive voice. So it is a question that was asked in, in an examination, public examination. So uh, one sees this sort of advertisement everywhere. How will you convert this? One is the subject here, sees object, this sort of advertisement is um, object. So you can write this sort of ad advertisements meant advertisement is seen everywhere. By one you can add or omit. It is not important. You can omit better better to omit. So this sort of advertisement is seen everywhere. Is the sentence okay? The wind broke the window. Rewrite the sentence beginning with the window. So this is how they ask you the question in examination. They'll give you a sentence and rewrite the sentence with this. Here, the, rewrite the sentence uh, with the window because the window is the object here. So you should understand this is asked to prepare uh, to convert the sentence into passive voice. They do not ask you directly convert the sentence into passive voice. Instead, they'll give you a sentence like this and ask you begin the sentence with giving the object. So you should know that this here I have to convert this given sentence into passive words. Okay, the window broke, the wind broke the window, broke the window. Then start the sentence with the window, then the window, the window broke is past tense, right? So we have to use past form of auxiliary was broken. The window was broken by the wind. Broken by the wind. That's how we convert this sentence. Okay. That's all uh, from passive voice. So listen carefully to the grammar parts and um, do the works regarding uh, related to this one given in your textbook and the other activities that you are given. Okay. And um, be confident that you'll be able to do any works related to this. If you uh, come across in your examination, it will be very helpful for you. Okay. Hope uh, this video will help. I uh, hope this video is a useful one. Uh, make use of it and do well. That's all. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.